Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and in this short video in five minutes or less, I'm going to introduce you to a piece of new mystery machine in my studio. Not that mystery machine, this mystery machine. It's the Cloud Ray 50 watt fiber laser. This machine is truly amazing. It's crazy fast, super powerful. Let's take a closer look at the machine. Here's the complete work center for the CloudRay fiber laser. I'm going to start with the main controller box. This has all of the power supplies in it, including the laser power source. It has some nice venting on the front side. And this case is all aluminum and it's very, very solid. All of the power and the signal comes out of the back of the machine through this black umbilical cord. And that goes down underneath my monitor up and into the laser area. Inside of this tube is the actual laser head itself. Inside of this unit is all of the mirrors that move the laser around and the focusing lens. Here's that huge focusing lens. We'll see that there's two brass knobs coming out here and here, and those are going to be used for setting the focus on the laser, and I'll be running this in just a minute. On this pedestal, there is a height adjustment right here, and this is what we use to focus the laser head down to the work area. When I pan past the monitor before, we'll see that I do have light burn up. I did purchase the model that is light burn compatible, and it makes this machine so much easier to use. When I purchased the fiber laser, I also made sure that I purchased all of the accessories right away, and I have two rotary units. I have that one that has a nice chuck type that uses the key to adjust the chuck. And then I have this uh, high production model here that has a spring loaded chuck and you don't need any tools to manipulate the chuck on here. I'll show you the front view of that. In this video, I'm not going to be using either of the rotaries. I'm gonna save that for an in-depth future video, but for this video to demonstrate the speed and power, I'm going to engrave this stainless steel butter knife. And when I look at this butter knife, I can see that I can easily catch my own reflection behind the camera here. Um, that's going to be too reflective for this laser or any laser. I don't wanna have the laser beam come down and reflect back up into the lens of the laser machine. I'm going to take a black Sharpie marker and put a masking agent over this, get it in the work area, draw something quick up in light burn and get this engraving on the way. I have the stainless steel butter knife installed in the work area. I've got a washer on one side to level this out and I've got the black masking agent from that Sharpie marker uh, on there. And we'll see that I've got three small red laser dots. And right now the laser is out of focus. So I'm going to use this top knob here on the pedestal. And I'm going to adjust that until all three of those dots converge into a single point, which I've got right now. I'm in perfect focus. I'll move on into light burn. And quite fitting for a butter knife, I typed in the simple word chop. Everything looks good in light burn. I have this foot pedal used for production set up. When I press that once, it will frame my project and we'll see it's actually spelling out the word chop. And this is one of the cool things about a fiber laser is that you can set it up to frame out the actual graphic on your screen and not just a box outline. It really does a great job so that you can make those last little minute adjustments on your workpiece in the work bed. And this is an open frame machine and I do need to put some glasses on. So I'll get these on. And when I press this foot pedal one more time, it's going to go through and do the engraving. And that's it, it's already done. It was really just that quick. For the cleanup, just a quick dab of some denatured alcohol is all I need on a clean, nice white cloth. Just one or two wipes cleans everything off. 
And there we go. We've got a nice clean, crisp engraving. It has a nice color to it. It really stands out. That was a lot of fun watching just how fast and powerful that fiber laser is. And that's really the main thing that a fiber laser can do for you. If you're experiencing high production volume or you're doing very small, intricate work and you need that fine detail, that's where fiber laser really shines. I'm gonna have a product link in the description down below that you can check out all the technical jibber jabber on that machine. CloudRay also offers that fiber laser in a 20 watt and 30 watt version. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Doing any a number of those things really helps me out. It helps the channel grow and it helps connect content like this with great viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.